This is Chris from Atlantic Outboard, and this is your digital delivery on your new Rivalo R227. If you're trailering the boat, the first thing you're going to want to make sure of is that your drain plug is installed in the transom of the boat. You do not want to put the boat in the water without your drain plug. Next thing you want to do is go inside the boat, turn on your, your battery switch. Right here is your trailering motor support. Um, before you launch the boat, you're going to want to flip this support up to allow you to tilt the motor down. Okay. You also have a uh, tilt switch here to operate the motor up and down while standing next to it. Come on inside, we'll go through the rest of the boat. Once inside your new Rebalo 227, first thing you want to do is turn on your battery switch. Battery switch is located here. The 12 o'clock position makes the battery switch off. Once you turn it to your six o'clock position, that's going to power both batteries on. Typically, I like to keep both batteries on, so you're using both batteries and you're charging both batteries. There's really never a reason to separate between battery one and battery two. So I always like to run them both batteries at the same time on the six o'clock position of the switch. Down here in this bilge area, you have a battery charger, your freshwater holding tank, dual batteries off to this one side. You have your saltwater wash down and your freshwater pumps. There's additional bilge access through an inspection plate, which is in front of the motor. Um, if you unscrew that inspection plate, you'd be able to access your bilge pump and your through haul valve. Every boat owner should know where their through haul valve is in case of an emergency. If there's ever an emergency with water getting into the boat, you can isolate that valve. What that valve does is it allows salt water to be sucked from the ocean to supply water to your salt water wash down or your live well. Let's take a look at your dash. Once you have your battery switch on, you're going to come up to the helm and you're going to insert your safety lanyard. Your boat will not start if the safety lanyard is not attached. The motor will crank and you'll get an error alarm, but it won't start. So first thing, turn your battery on. Second thing, safety lanyard. And third, you can start your motor. Now up at the dash, you have a switch for your live well. Once you switch that on, it's going to pump salt water into your live well. You have a water pressure switch. Once that is pressurized, that will service your fresh water shower and fresh water to the toilet. So in order to flush your toilet, you need to have the water pressure switch on. If the boat is equipped with underwater lights, you have a dedicated switch here. Now these are generic panels, so you may not have underwater lights, but you'll still have a switch. And then you have a blank accessory switch. If you ever add a component down the road, you could tie it into that switch. You have a horn, you have a navigation and anchor light, aft build. So the bilge, is hard, bilge pump is hardwired to the battery. If you shut your battery switch off, it'll still be able to operate if it needs to pump water out of the boat. Now, if you have a little bit of soapy water from you washing the boat and you manually want to pump any residual water out, you could turn the switch on and it will stay on until you shut it off. So you always want to make sure you shut that the aft bilge switch off. Then you have courtesy lights. Those will illuminate the deck area with certain LEDs that'll let you see where you're going at night as far as walking around the deck or cleaning the boat up in the dark. You have another blank accessory switch. This boat also has a Bluetooth stereo. You can pair with your iPhone. If you're having any problems pairing the Bluetooth your iPhone with your iPhone, I recommend just going on YouTube. They have a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to pair it for just about every Bluetooth device created. So you would just in your head compartment is the main head unit for your stereo. Okay. That'll give you more features like balance, treble, and bass. That'll be where the, the model number for your stereo is. So again, if you're having trouble syncing the Bluetooth, that's where you'll find the model number to, to look up on the internet. In this head compartment, is your toilet. Now this is a vacuum flush system. So you want to flip the switch. There's going to be a switch inside. Once you flip that switch, it's going to turn the vacuum pump on, allow that a few minutes to build pressure. Then as you go 
you use the bathroom, you flip the pedal, the pedal, it's just like an airplane, it's gonna use a vacuum system to draw the water into the holding tank. Under the cupboards here you have storage, um, you have a light in there which is operated, you have, a, you have to give it power on the dash but then there's a push button lens to turn the light in, uh, on and off. Very simple setup for that head compartment. Another tip for when you're pumping out the waste. On the back of the boat, I'll show you where the bezel is for the, the pump out option. Um, your, your local fuel dock will have a pump out hose to where they will suck the waste out. Another tip is while they're pumping that, to depress, press down on your flush pedal. This way it allows air to come through the system, create a loop and suck all the waste out of the boat. Under this seat here, you have additional storage. So there's a safety latch here. Once you flip that latch, you'll have access to here. That's a great place for dock lines, fenders, life jackets. Under here is your live well. There'll be a drain plug in your owner's bag that you can plug that live well. You have tow rails down here for safety. If you're standing up, this seat flips down for additional seating. If you're ever out at night, this is where your navigation light, your uh, mass light will attach. You'll have a pole, which is typically stored in the rod holders down below here. And then that'll snap in and then you just have to flip your switch on the dash. Under this cap here is your plug for your battery charger. If you ever leave your batteries on, you could charge it from a three prong extension cord. Then moving forward, you have storage below deck here. Okay, great place for water sports, wakeboards, life jackets, a tremendous amount of storage below deck. Behind the dash, you have additional dry storage. Okay, that's where your bow filler plate mounts. Okay, and the cushion, that's a good place for the cushion. So that plate would essentially drop in where I'm standing and then the cushion goes on top of it. You also have all the bow cushions. Under each seat, is there, there's gonna be storage. You have grab handles all around. This windshield will close if you get a windy day or you're taking a spray or a rain, that'll close up. You have a cover that uses all these snaps. It'll snap into place to cover your whole bow area. And then you have a cockpit cover which snaps from the windshield all the way back. Now up front you have a dedicated anchor locker with the anchor that we supply. It will fit in these grooves. To remove the anchor, you slide these tabs aside, the anchor comes out, you engage it into the bottom, drop it over the side. Once it comes tight, you can cleat it off to your cleats here, and then the line will come out the side there. On the transom of your Rabalo 227, there's gonna be a, a plate, that's where the pump out would suck the waste out of your holding tank. So there's a deck key, you unscrew that, and then you'd be able to pump out the waste. Over on this side is where your saltwater washdown hose threads in here. So if you have one of those coiled up hoses, you could thread it on there and leave it in your engine well, turn on your saltwater washdown switch, and you'll be able to spray salt water. When this motor is tilted all the way down, there's two inspection plates that you can unscrew. That's more for service. That'll give us access directly to your bilge pump. Under there, there's gonna be access to your th through hull ball valve. Now it's very important as a boat owner to know where these ball valves are. In case there's ever an emergency, you wanna be able to isolate that ball valve. The valve is there to allow a connection for salt water to be sucked from the ocean to supply salt water to your salt water wash down or your live well. So again, under that would be access to your ball valve to isolate that. To fill your fresh water tank on your Rabalo 227, in the transom, there's gonna be a uh, inspection plate there that you unscrew and you can just stick your fresh water hose into it and let it fill up. You'll see that there's a logo on it that looks like waves to kind of give you the idea that water goes there. Now your fresh water holding tank services two things. It services the toilet and it services your fresh water shower. Okay, so you simply turn the switch on on the dash, you flip that, 
and then you'd be able to pull your freshwater shower out from there. Over on this side is where your fuel fill is. You simply push the button underneath and then the fuel cap will open up. You stick your fuel hose in there and begin.